Jank Odo moment. Okay, here's the Canwave City Gym. Well, I never got to um, cover, but I'm covering it now in this short video. It's gonna be very short. I must, I might also include the um, Snowpoint City Gym badge. Her <laughs> gym badge, the um, gym. Okay, so, oh, Steven, you beat. Oh, yeah, he doesn't actually say what. Yeah, I already beat the new gym leader here, so it doesn't actually say what I want him to say, of course. And just so we get this out of the way. Hold on. We, oh, yeah, we have to do it from the front, of course. Yeah, Cody beat me. Apparently. Um, this fighting. This fighter type dude. Uh, this fighter black belt guy. That. Ah, had a, um, Steelix. If you go here. You can battle this person that has an onyx, maybe two, and maybe an onyx and steelix, there's a dead end, you know, it just leads to a dead end, but I train it back too. And if you go here, it's automatic dead end, so that iron workers, I think I have two onyxes, I can't remember, this panel leads to this panel, which, you know, isn't the right way either, you can go right here, and then right here, and then finally you battle this ace trainer that I don't remember what he had. I think he had like an uh, steel, so I'm not sure, but ace trainers have like strong Pokemon, so it might be... I can't remember what Pokemon he had, honestly. Dead end if you slide on this panel, so you want to go on this panel. Um, if you slide down on this panel, you'll make it to a dead end again, of course. And then, this sign worker again had an onyx, I can't remember, a steelix, maybe, you know, there's not that many steel types in center anyway, so you want to start on this panel, then go over here to that panel, side to that, and then go to that panel, and then I'll bring it down here, I can't even keep up with this, and I don't know if I'm talking right, then go around to this panel, that, this ace trainer, right there, had, um, Air Zero that knows Iron Tail, so I don't even think that classifies as, um, the person being in the right gym. Okay, and then Brian. You know, he'll say something different, he won't actually bother me. Cody crapped up consistently to challenge the old guard. With more young trainers like my son and you two taking charge, the future of Pokemon is bright. I'm not stepping aside just yet. I merely need to re redicate re myself to train to Iron Islands. Yeah, I don't even know what that means. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you the move sets of all Pokemon right now. Okay, Brian started off with the Bronzo at level 36 deal. Um, psychic type with the moves Extra Sensory, Flash Cannon. Confuse Ray and Hypnosis. Hypnosis could put you to sleep, which is irritating. Confuse Ray can confuse you, which is irritating as well. And then Flash Cannon is a steel type move. You know, it's pretty good. It has okay accuracy, I guess. Um, it wasn't effective on me because I had my Flame Ball. It was a rapid action. I taught it f um, the TM38 Flamethrower uh, that we got at the. The Flamingo Fireworks. Can't pronounce the name right. You never gotta see it. That was the next part. If the, all those videos didn't get deleted. Too bad. It got deleted. Okay, um, extra sensory. You know, you know, it's a psychic type move. I don't have to worry about that. Next up, he's done our Steelix, which was a level, uh, what was it? Level 36 Steel psychic type of move. Dragon Breath, Ice Fang, Gyro Ball, and Sandstorm. Sandstorm, you know, it's like a weather condition move, but it deals a little damage every turn, after every turn, you know. Gyro Ball, not very effective because it's a steel type move. Ice Fang, not very effective because it's an ice, turn, ice type move. And then Dragon Breath had a chance of, con of paralyzing me. I almost said confusing me. Um, and then last is his main Pokemon, Bastiodon, which was a st um, level 39 steel type, or steel rock type, I should say. Um, with the moves Rest, Ancient Power, Iron Defense, and Flash Cannon. Flash Cannon again, good accuracy at least, okay accuracy, not very effective. Iron Defense raises up its defense sharply. Ancient Power, the super effective, so I guess I have to watch out for that. And Rest can fully gain him, his health back and any status problem, but he'd be asleep. Okay, and then I got the, um... Mind badge, you know. 
and then we just escape like this, you know. And all those moves that were in the sidebar to you left. Yada yada yada. And then, yeah, you talk to the advice giver again and he'd say, and then check out the statue. Um, let's see here. Using my stylus. Yeah, and then we would get this badge, which was mine badge, right here. Ha. Look at it, it's awesome. I think I cut that a little short, but then I went back. Okay. Let's see here. That's perfect. The camera's actually perfect for once. Well, I think, I don't know. So. Okay, no, because Can't Life City's cut off. So I'm going to this back a bit. Oh, well. Uh, then Cody would, like, rush to me and say I have to go to the library, but I'd actually heal up. And then that's where we meet Rowan and Dawn. They say he, st he starts Pokemon Evolution. There's, um, weird stuff happening at the lake. I go to Lake Valor. Cody goes to Lake Aquity, and then Dawn goes to Lake Verity. We fight Saturn, you know. But after, before we head for all the lakes, a nice quick happens. And yeah, I didn't heal up my Pokemon, because I want to cover the gems. Although I have the 15 minute time limit now, so I shouldn't really rush. <coughs> yeah, I still have a little cough. I think I'm sick, so it's probably not good to make videos and record if, I, if my commentary isn't the, as good as it's gonna get. Or as the best I can get. Okay, Snow Point City Gym time. He doesn't say what he would have said if you want to beat them the gym later of course then we might want to just check the statue out right now yeah then we gotta show you how to get through this puzzle first time gotta show you how to get through the puzzle without battling any trainers at all go to the third wheel hit that and then you want to go back and then over here then let's see here we, we can slide on ice the magical power then we want to go right here, right here, right here. Well, actually, we want to go right here and then hit this snowball and get that out of the way. Then we want to go like that, and then that. Yeah, it's pretty, like, straightforward and all that. Go right here, move, okay, here. Uh, then when he's turned around, you probably want to go there just to be safe. But I think I, nope. Yeah, I crushed that snowboard. Ah, uh, nope. Of course not. Let's see if it has enough momentum. Yes, it does. Awesome. I'm gonna go right here. Of course. Let's see. Aha, we're gonna go right here and then crush. Aw, oh, man, I was off. Darn it. Oh, well. Go right here and crush that. Of course, there's no stone heart. Yeah. Yeah, in the actual video, I did way better than I'm doing now. <coughs> than I'm doing now. That was horrible comment. I just coughed. Oh, man. That stinks. I'm gonna go right here on this snowy patch and then crush. And then go over here and then we can crush that. Yay. And then in the actual video, I knew I actually had to crush that last one, but now I don't. <laughs> oh yeah, now I do, but I have to go all the way back, which really stinks. <laughs> well, bam, yay. Of course. And then we make it all, and then we have to go all the way back, sadly enough, as if this was not as if this wasn't enough torture. Um, the trainer in the, um, metal had a quag site, so we want to keep out for that. Um, like, most of the trainers had, like, Snovers and Sneasels. Uh, I believe one had an Azumarill. You know, all those trainers you have to look out for. Like, these two trainers right here, like, right here and here, had, um, Snovers. And, um, the ones on the sides, I believe, had Sneasels, and you just have to look for yourself. I used Flame Ball again in this battle, he knew Flamethrower. Okay, 
In my opinion, Candace is the easy, no wait, no, second easiest gym leader in Sinner. Not that I'm, um, not that I'm rating who's the strongest and who's the weakest, but Candace is weak. I'm sorry, but, you know, Candace is weak. But in the anime, she's actually pretty equal to Ash, but, you know. Um, so, Candace started off with this Nova level 30. A grass ice type with the moves Ingrain, Avalanche, Razor Leaf, and Leer. Leer wrote. Leer. Uh, Leer lowered down your defense, which was irritating, I guess. Razor Leaf, not very effective on me since I'm fire type. Avalanche, you know. It's an ice type move, it's pretty good. I, I wouldn't worry about that because I'm not affected to it. Ingrain, you know, it can't switch out if it uses this move, it'll. It, Gain a little energy every, after every turn for plants its roots. Um, it's four times weakness to grass. Or f grass, fire. Same with um, her abominable snow, but I'll get to that later. Next after that, she sent out a Sneasel, which was a level 38 Dark Ice type. Yeah, it was level 38. Dark Ice type with the moves Taunt. Faint attack slash an avalanche. Avalanche again, not very effective on me. Um, slash, you know, it has a high critical hit ratio, so I guess you have to watch out for that. Faint attack never misses, no matter what. It's underground in there, or underwater, but I don't think there's a dive in this game until after the game. Um, and taunt, you know, you can't, you can only use, um, attacking moves if you use that. Not, no offensive moves like teleport or weird or growl, you know, and those moves. Um, next I sent out a Metacham, and this is where I switched out to, um, Superhawk, I used Aerial Ace on it, but anyway, it's a level 40, um, Psychic Fighting, or Fighting Psychic, I should say, with the moves Force Palm, Bark Up, um, Detect, and Ice Punch. Detect protects itself, which is irritating, but if it uses it three times in a row, that's probably lucky, but I doubt it. Um, Ice Punch... Very effective on the side to watch out for that. Bulk up is its attack and defense stats. And Force Palm, you know, it has a chance of paralyzing me. And then, finally, her main Pokemon was a level 42, or uh, Abominus Snow, level 42, Grass Eyes type with the moves Wood Hammer, Swagger, Grass, um, Muscle, and Avalanche. Avalanche again, not very effective since I switched back up. Since I switched up back to Flame Ball, I'm kind of rushing this side. And Grass Whistle can put me to sleep, which is irritating. Swagger so raises my attack sharply, but confuses me, which is irritating. But it's a 50-50 chance, good, and 50-50 chance. 50% uh, good, and 50% bad, in my opinion. And then Wood Hammer, you know, it's a grass type move, not very effective. Okay. I'm just barely past three minutes now, including the intro time. So, uh, oh wait, I can move back while I'm doing it. Then you can talk to the advice giver, and then you can check out your icicle badge. How fun. As if we all wanted to see that. So, here it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I recorded, um, the beacon badge before I did these, before I did this video, so that's why I have the eighth badge when I shouldn't, but, oh well. That's uh, just to a spoiler that I got in advance. I didn't realize that till now. Which, you know, really kind of stinks. Oh well. I guess since I got the beacon badge. Well, I'm gonna upload the video where I get the beacon badge from um, Sunny Shore. And then, I'm gonna just, you know, 